Good morning. Happy Sunday. Well, it's Sunday today. Sundays are my my reset day so that Monday I am glowing and I am fresh. Um, so I thought I would just do a video of things that I'm going to do to prep myself for the work week. I have this thing where I really like jet black hair on me during the winter and kind of like this brown color that I have up here for the spring and the summer. It is time to dye my hair, set Let's Glow Up together. Um, I'll show you guys how I do my skincare routine. I've been um, breaking out and I have this problem where I don't know how to not pop my pimples. Found this Moderma dry oil that's been helping with the color um, fading. So I will show you guys what it looks like to glow up with me on a Sunday. First, I'm gonna take this rat tail comb and separate my hair into four sections. And then I'm going to detangle on mostly dry hair because if I do soak it, it will be hard to um, dye it. You have to dye your hair when it's dry. Now I'm going to start applying the dye to the back sections of my hair. I picked the color Licorice Black. Um, it's just this really deep and like basey black color. I just rake it through from root to tip. And yeah, that's, that's kind of how I do it. And then eventually my mom steps in to help me because I was making a giant ass mess. So shout out to my mom. Alrighty, so my hair has been in the um, calf for about 15 minutes. I'm going to give it five more minutes before we wash it out. To take off the dark marks that are left from the ooh, from the dye, I'm using apple cider vinegar on my face and my hands. We'll allow the dye to sit in for a little bit. I'm going to work on my skin. I'm going to use the Cerebe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I'm going to wash my face for about 35 to 40 seconds it does not this cleanser doesn't soap up so just so you know and then afterwards I'm going to double cleanse with the Urban RX Even Tone Skin Bar um, this is also helping me with the hyperpigmentation and this is just what I'm doing right now I have dry skin so I have to be very careful because it's sensitive um, I'm going to also remove my five o'clock mustache is whatever it's called you know what I mean I just have a lot of hair on my face and I do see a, a difference when I do shave or try to remove the hair on my face you got to get your chin you got to make sure you get all the places and all the stuff and now I'm going to use this facial that I got from Target I'm going to leave it on for about 15 minutes and head into the dryer while I wait so I just finished coming out of the the hair dryer after like 20 minutes. My skin looks very clear. Um, it looks a lot brighter after I remove the hair. And also when you shave, you gotta be careful. Mask name, I will... One second. So this is the face mask that I use. It's by Avatar or from Avatar. It is called Light Up Face Mask. But I think this is like $3 at Target. And now I'm just gonna take out um, the deep conditioner and then I'm gonna start doing my hair. This is what my hair looks like after I just took out the uh, deep treatment. The one thing I love about dark hair or black hair is that you will get automatically shiny hair. When your hair is a little bit lighter, it just looks a lot more dry, even if you are moisturizing properly. So I'm just going to try to do a quick wash and go. And like I said, I've been using this Moderma dry oil that helps with the hyperpigmentation. So I just put a couple of drops and I work where there are hyperpigmentation spots. For this wash and go, I'm still sticking to just conditioner and an oil. I use the praying hand method to rake it through from root to tip. Um, I have other videos, you can definitely check it out. And then I just use this detangler to get to fine curls. So it's pretty simple and you know easy to follow. All right, so this is just conditioner because I'm sticking with the whole, I'm, I don't know why I'm bouncing. I'm just bouncing. I'm going to um, maybe go into the dryer for a little bit and then uh, I don't know what else is left. I think I did everything. Oh, when I go to sleep, I'm going to put castor oil on my brows and my eyelashes. Alrighty, and uh, it's time to head off to bed. I put my hair up into one of this sloppy little bun. Um, and now I'm going to use castor oil on my brows and my eyelashes. I've been doing this for a while, and I do know that it helped grow back my hair because I had a, I had a phase in high school. I'll, but I just brush up, then brush down.
and now I'm ready to sleep. Um, I'll show you guys tomorrow morning kind of my makeup routine and all that stuff before I go off to work, but this is how I prep for Mondays. Good morning. So it's time to get ready for work. I'm gonna use again the dry oil from the derma that I was using and um, just rub it on my dark marks. I have a pimple that's merging out here and right here too. So I'm going to take a little bit of tree tea oil to dry it out. First thing I'm going to do is use this e.l.f. Um, brown sugar lipstick scrub. Next I'm going to put some chapstick. This is from Essels or Essels. And it's the mint kind, so it feels real good. Now I'm priming my face with the e.l.f. hydrating primer, mixing it with the baby skin primer from Maybelline. And Now I'm doing my brows. First I comb them into place and then I'm going to use my NYX Tame and Frame Pomade in the color Espresso to fill them in. Just try to keep them nice and fluffy. Try not to go too crazy, but sometimes I do get a little bit heavy handed and they get kind of blocky looking. I'm using this e.l.f. eyebrow gel to keep them in place. Now I'm color correcting with the Black Radiance color corrector in orange and I'm just trying to cover all my um, hyperpigmentation spots. I'm going to take this brush from Real Techniques and just blend it into place. I'm going to take my concealer from Makeup Revolution in the color C10 over all the orange just to cover the dark marks and then I'm going to take the same brush that I used before to blend it out. Um, for the most part it works but when I need to I will use the blending brush like I just did right now. I know I look kind of ghostly casket ready but it's just because I haven't blended it out with my foundation that I use and that is the It's Cosmetics Celebration Foundation and I dab that on my entire face and that helps bring back the color color and then even then I still want some more color so I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty bronzer in I think it's Caramel Cutie and just get it all over my face. I'm going to use the concealer again on my eye just to help with the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty bronzer as a base for my eyeshadow. It's a nice warm color and to deepen it I'm going to use this single shadow that I got from Sephora called Tree Hugger just to give it a nice little cool deep earth tone brown. Now I'm working on my eyelashes by curling them. So I curl them and then I'm going to apply mascara in a minute. So I just picked up the KKW Beauty Mascara because I've heard some really good reviews. I'm going to use some lash primer. When I use mascara, I work at the base. So I make sure I push the brush into the roots and I kind of do a blinking motion. I make sure that the, my roots are evenly coated and then I'll work on the tips of the lashes. And I usually coat the tip of my lashes on the back side, So I kind of like swoop the wand into my lashes, if that makes any sense. And for the most part, it works for me, but it does get them clumpy. Um, I'm just trying different mascaras. This one costs $18 and it does a decent job, but I don't think it's worth me spending the extra $8. Dollars. This one is like $8 and to $10, so I'm going to stick with this mascara and I'm going to return this one because it was $18. I don't even know why I did it. As you guys see, my eyelashes are getting kind of spidery-like, so I'm using a clean spoolie to brush them out and get out the extra gunk. So I just cleaned up with a Q-tip where the mascara got all over the place. I'm using the NYX lip liner um, in Cold Brew. I'm using the NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. medium size oops I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I'm parked in front of my job. I'm about to go in. Sunday is how I did all of this. I glowed up. I made sure my skin was prepped so I can wear makeup today. I don't wear makeup on the weekends, so it gives me some 
time to like a break um and now my hair looks super cute i definitely do love the black the black just does something it just i feel like it complements my skin the best and it just like matches my brows and like i just really like dark features and thank you guys for watching if you like this video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you in my next video bye